call them a terrible dream. I had another one. It was just like the enormous swimming pool changing rooms ones. But it was, well, my ex-husband had come back and he wanted to tell me how many times he cheated on me and things like that. And he wanted to have sex and I sent him away. And then he had a piece of poo in his bum and I removed it from him. And then I threw it away in a toilet, but the toilet wasn't mine. It was in a set of cubicles of changing rooms. It reminds me of another dream I had, which was masses and masses, rows and rows of filthy changing rooms. Rows and rows and rows of them. It's dirty showers and dirty changing rooms, it's like so many. The one I had last night was horrific though. The star-shaped door was a, a door that had light at the end of it. It wasn't a star-shaped door. It was a cove at the top of a waterfall. I had been up, up to the, uh, on a ledge of it where I was allowed to just sit and watch this, the head of a procession where a, a large cylindrical device was rotating in the water and like popping a few and the first one came up and it was a, an, probably a six foot-ish man 180 pounds, white, um, bald, face turned away, um, floating up, uh, bloated body, blood, lots of blood. Um, there were people primarily wearing white and red as if they were in some kind of, like Mary Poppins, but with the wrong colors. I remember some of the faces, one lady in particular, various different tents and checking things. Every time you'd want to make him say something, they'd give you the opportunity and probably take you away. It was the sentiment. They'd leave me. Beyond that was something like another one I had, which was where there was a hidden door in a passage and you had to go through a series of, like a sewer, and you'd end up at a beach. I'm going to try and see if I can jot it down today. Ooh, my horn's rattled, actually. That's a bad map that needs put to bed.